Hey guys, Daniel here and welcome back to the Dan Fam. Today I have a tutorial for you guys on how to install Project Ozone 3. This is the third install sh or uh, third version of a mod pack that I've been playing from the start. It's one of my favorite uh, mod packs ever. You know, as you can see, I got the Project Ozone 1, I got Ozone 2, I even got the light and played that a little bit. And now the third one's out and I'm super excited about it. But before I even play it, I want you guys to know how to install and play along with me. Um, first off, we're playing on the Twitch launcher. It's like a Twitch desktop app where you can watch Twitch videos as well as play mod packs for different games. Uh, I have it open here, the link, which will be in my description below. Uh, all you have to do is hit download, but you can go through this page and basically it tells you everything you need to know about the website and how it works. Other than that, let's go straight into how this works. So you log in, uh, you or you sign up. So if you don't have a Twitch account, you make one. Or you could use your old Curse account if you ever had Curse. Um, because it used to be called Curse, but then I guess Twitch bought it. As you can see, you know, you can watch any stream you like. Uh, I'm surprised Fortnite isn't number one on streams anymore. Uh, then the mod your the tab you need to click isn't my games, but you actually have to go to mods. And under here you see a bunch of the games here that I believe have potential mod packs but since minecraft is one lit up it means that i actually have the game installed and i have the game on this computer so you guys also need the actual minecraft game or original version the java edition in order for this to pop up now you press this and this page is called this tab is called my mod packs and for you guys it will be empty but once you start installing mod packs they'll all appear here and you just hit play or update so that's the great thing about that. Now, how do you get this page filled up? You go to browse all mod packs. You could also browse FTB mod packs, which is a little more specific to the mod packs of FTB, their team and all that. Or you can create your own basically mod packs. Now this, this from here, you can't really post it uh, and make it available for others to play. But it's a good thing if you just want to play certain mods together that you just haven't seen in other mod packs. So you just select them and then you let them, you let it run and you play it automatically. Now let's get out of that. Uh, we go to browse all mod packs. That's where we are going to search it. And we have to search project. And I spelled project wrong, my bad. Project. And as you can see, it's already there. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Um, hopefully you guys really find this pretty easy to do. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. But it's basically, see how this is installed on this? You, it'll say install, you hit it. Now for me it says play because I already have it installed. But once you press play, it'll launch it up through your regular Minecraft launcher. And then you can run it from there. Just as a warning, I believe it needs a lot of memory to run. And I think my computer is kind of full. So I wasn't able to run it today because normally I have a setup where I play a little bit of the game after my tutorial, but this ep this episode or this video, I will not. But hopefully it's short and simple for you guys. Uh, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys keep up with all my new videos. I will try to upload as much as I can. And also let me know what else you want to see on my channel. And I'm gonna give a quick shout out to Wondercraft uh, mod pack I made a while ago. But hey, you guys don't have to do it, play it if you want. But it'll be cool if it gets some clout. Um, other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.